Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to dive deep into some view commands. We're talking orbit, pan, and zoom. Exhaustive. Everything I can think to tell you about it, we're doing it now. We've done a few of these deep dive videos where we take something that is a pretty basic concept and we just kind of look at everything you can possibly do with it. And um, it, generally speaking, you guys seem to like this, so it's great. Um, I think a lot of times when you think of something simple like orbit, everybody's like, yeah, I know how to orbit. I learned that the first day. Uh, but I'm always, always pleasantly surprised when we dive into all the modifier keys or the presets or settings or things like that. And people go, whoa, hey, didn't even know that. Um, so hopefully you have a whoa, hey moment in this because uh, we're going to get into it right now. All right. So first thing I want to talk about. Um, all of these commands we're talking about do have icons and separate commands. A lot of time we end up using them just with the middle mouse button. So we'll talk about that a little bit, but I can get into orbit, pan, or zoom using toolbar buttons, or if I go up into tools, I'm sorry, if I go to camera, excuse me, orbit, pan, and zoom are there. You can see there's also shortcut keys for them. So I can jump between any of these commands using keyboard shortcuts, using icons, that sort of thing. It does work exactly the same as is used on the mouse. So I'm not going to do that though. I am going to stick to using the scroll wheel on the mouse. And of course, scroll wheel on the mouse means if I hold down the scroll wheel, I get the orbit uh, logo or logo icon comes up and I'm orbiting. Now, the thing about orbit is where you click is the point that you're orbiting around. So see, I'm getting a different orbit here than I get if I click back here and swing it that way. So it is something to be conscious of is where you start orbiting is going to change the handle basically that you're grabbing this by. So it's kind of think if this is a real model and I came in here and I put my hand around this bar and I spun it and it spun based on where I was holding it, where I was grabbing it from. You can see how that changes. I, I'm looking at things different than if I go back here and swing this around. So it does matter where you click. It's not just like an arbitrary spot on the screen. Now, the other thing I can do real easily with the middle mouse button or the scroll wheel is zoom, of course. I scroll up, I zoom in, scroll down, I zoom out. Now it's possible you do have your mouse set opposite where up will zoom out and down will zoom in. That's, that's you and your mouse setting. You guys just do what you want to do. I'm not going to judge. I'm not even going to comment. So if you do like the wrong way of doing it, that's cool. But if you do it right like me, that's even better. Um, so this is automatic too. So people who use SketchUp for a long time, they get used to this orbit, zoom, orbit, zoom, orbit, zoom. And this is a common way of moving around a model. Something that some people do more than others is they get pan involved. So pan is its own command up here. So you can click on pan and then what that does is it basically just kind of puts your model on a dolly or on a flat plane where I can move it up, down, left, and right. I do still have perspective happening to this, but I'm not spinning the model. In general, I'm just grabbing it by, again, grabbing it depending where I click on, I'm gonna grab it by that point and slide it around. A lot of people don't get into pan because they don't think about it in relation to, you know, how they're using their orbit in zoom. The cool thing is that when you're in here, if you hold down the modifier key, it's uh, shift when I'm in or when I'm on windows, I think it's shift on when on windows as well as Mac. Um, I have to remember, but on Mac, it is shift. I can jump immediately from orbit to pan. So this means I'm in here spinning around and then I'm sliding and then I'm spinning around and then I'm sliding and then I'm zooming and then I'm orbiting and then I'm panning and then I'm zooming. I could do all that with two fingers, one finger on my scroll wheel on my right mouse or on my, my the finger on my right hand is on the scroll wheel of the mouse. Left hand is tapping shift and releasing it as I start moving around. Very nice, very easy way to do this. So as I'm doing this, you can see because I'm in orbit, if you look down at the lower right corner, right down here, 
I have my, my modifier keys. So that's where I saw, okay, shift, I hold on shift, I jump right in the pan. So I haven't let go of my scroll wheel yet. If I let go, then I immediately jump back into orbit, to pan, to orbit, to pan. So you can see how that works. That's It's a very simple way to do that. The other thing that's in here, you can see I have the a modifier key to suspend gravity. Now, I don't know who wants this, but it's here for you. So if I come in here and I'm on max, so if I hit option key, look what'll happen is I start orbiting around. I'm gonna spin this thing in full 3D space and I can end up with this. Again, I don't know why you wanna come in here and do this. Um, maybe it's a specific model that you're working on and you, no, I still can't think of anything. But if you wanted to do this, it's here, it's available for you. So I know some people are modeling, uh, you know, products where they need to see the underside real easy and that sort of thing. And that's what this is actually for. I'm sorry, I was, I was goofing around a little bit. But if you are modeling something where it's an item and you need to flip it over, that sort of thing, it is right there. So when you're in, in orbit, just click the modifier key to suspend gravity. The question of course comes up, how do I get back? Well, there's a couple ways that I would recommend. One is of course scenes. Save a scene that's the direction you want. If you don't have a scene saved, you can always go to camera, standard views, go to something like a top view, and that'll just take you right back so that down is down, up is up, left, right, all that sort of stuff is back where it should be. Sanity restored. Um, as I'm zooming here, I do wanna point out that like orbit, like I said, we grab a handle when we use orbit, and then that's the, the piece that we're spinning by, uh, zoom works the same way. When I move my mouse on something and I start scrolling up, I'm gonna zoom in right wherever my mouse is pointed. So if I wanna zoom in on my, my model rather than the context around it, I wanna move my mouse over my model. If I wanna come in lower, I'd slide down like this and drop down. I wanna come in here, I'd zoom this way. So it's very important. A lot of people don't get that and get confused. And uh, once you get a handle of that, I think maybe that's what happens to a lot of people is they get really good at controlling where they zoom and orbit so they don't use pan as much, but pan's awful powerful too, you should use that. The other thing I wanna point out is when you do start zooming, oh, hello, here's an item that I just ran into. Zoom will let you enter geometry. So this wall right here, if I just move over it, I'm just right on top of it, just keep scrolling up, keep scrolling up. The closer I get, the slower it's gonna zoom. I'm just rolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Here it comes, and I'm inside the building now. Um, that is how that is intended to work. And it's, uh, if you know it's happening, it's pretty easy to do. It does take some extra scrolling there at the end. So if I back up, back up, back up, I'm on the outside now. So here I was on the inside. If I back up, back up, now I'm on the outside. If I keep scrolling back, I'll see that. But if I want to get in, I do have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll, then I'm in but it will let you pop your head through eventually. As long as you're in perspective. Parallel projection will never let you pop your head in anything because everything is parallel. There is no distance. There's no difference between the front of the model and the back of the model. So as long as you're in perspective, you can use zoom through your mouse to, to butt your head right through geometry. Now, speaking of zoom options, we haven't really talked about zoom very much. Uh, if I go, into zoom, just regular zoom. Uh, I'll click and hold down the mouse button, slide into zoom in, slide down to zoom out. And I also have the ability to hold down shift as a modifier key and change the field of view. So what this is doing is it's actually changing. If you look, the field of view down here is actually changing. So let's, let me get to a, an exaggerated view where I can really see this. All right, so right here, if I start sliding my field of view up, it's gonna get to the point where what's, I'm getting a more and more exaggerated view, basically. So I'm changing that field of view as I do this. Um, if I get all the way down to, to, I think it'll go to one, which is pretty close to parallel. So that means everything's, oh boy, I just backed into a building. But you can see, okay, that's, there we go. That's almost uh, parallel. I almost have a perfect isometric. Whereas if I start dragging it and I'll pull it the other way, um, if I shift and start pulling down and I'll get back to that perspective view. The default, by the way, for, for perspective, 
on, on a model is about 35 degrees. That's, that's what uh, most of us are used to seeing in perspective models. Some people like it a little bit more or less than that, but that's about where it's at. So there are modifiers there. Um, when it comes to pan, no modifiers. I can't, I can hit anything I want. And it's not going to change how that works. Last zoom thing, of course, is there is another way to zoom. If I do go into camera, I have zoom window. Not very commonly used, but it is here. So if there's a specific thing I wanted to fill the screen with, I could zoom window and it will zoom in there. Because I'm in perspective, that caused a little bit of weirdness to go in that far. So maybe if I go a little bit less, let's, let's try to get a tighter fit on this. There we go. That worked pretty good. Um, so zoom windows there too. If you want to define what you want to fill the screen, you could do that. And of course, the big one, this is, this is the one I, I recommend. One of the first ones you learn to use is zoom extents because sooner or later, when you get stuck in this view, zoom extents is going to get you right back out. So I do recommend learning zoom extents, knowing where it is in case you ever end up in that. Cause there's sometimes where you get stuck inside of something and you're, you're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And all I'm doing is scrolling is I'm just moving around the same. I don't know where I am. Just zoom extents. Now you're all the way outside. It's showing your model as big as it gets on the screen and uh, you're, you're, you're in a safe place. So that is it. That's everything that I can think to show you about zoom pan or orbit. And I think that's it. I think that's absolutely everything I can think of. Uh, with those three commands, we talked about modifier keys, shortcuts, menus, scroll button, scroll wheel. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, scroll wheel on the mouse. I'm, I'm sorry to trackpad users or iPad users. You guys have the same functionality, but the tool's different. Um, but that's everything I think of. And if you like that video, click the like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Did I miss something? Do you know something about a view command that I didn't get to? Let me know in the comments. Or do you have a piece of that that you didn't know? And I would love to hear that too. Let me know if I'm giving you guys some, some good advice. Or if you have an idea for a new video that has nothing to do with zoom or pan or orbit, leave that down below too. We like making videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.